Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can switch your display input source via software. In my case, I have two computers connected to a single screen. And in order to switch between the two computers, I have to go to the on-screen menu, pushing a button on the display and then select the input. However, it's also possible to do this via software. And I've written also a blog post about that, so you can read everything up here. Link is below in the video description. And the software we're gonna use it, uh, is named Control My Monitor from Nersoft. It's a free small tool which you can download here from the website. Uh, the link is also in the blog post. So just scroll down here and find the correct download link. This is the correct download link not these, uh, these are ads. Okay, once we have downloaded the tool, uh, you just have to unzip it. It's basically a portable application uh, with the name Control My Monitor. And let's start the software. And when we start the software, it will gather uh, the information about your display. You can select your display, your monitor here if you have multiple displays connected. And you get a lot of information like VCP codes, VCP code name, and some information if it's read or write and what the current value is. Okay. Okay, how do we use this software to switch our input? Well, in this list here, you have this value 60 with the name input select, and it's a read write value, and the current value is 17. And basically what this means is that my current input, in my case HDMI, is a uh, value 17. So we just memorized it and we can right click here and set this to a new value and enter a different value here. For example, my USB-C, I've checked this on the other computer by starting the software uh, on, that, on the other computer. And if I have selected USB-C as input, well then uh, the value is 15. So 17 means for my monitor it's HDMI, 15 in my case it's uh, USB-C. And if I change the value here and click OK, well then the display will immediately switch to the different input. And I'm now staring to a different screen now, so I have to switch back to HDMI that I'm back here in this video. Okay. Uh, we can now switch our input source by using the software. However, this is a little bit well complicated to start the software, select uh, the appropriate display and then change the value here. So what we're going to do is we create a batch file here um, in the same folder as our program. And I've named this one here switchmonitor.bat. So let's edit this file. And what we put in here is the name of our program, control monitor.exe slash set value, then the display name, value 60, 60, this, this is our VCP code here, and our value, in my case, 15. And you might ask yourself, where do I get the display name? Well, it's this name here, which appears in the software. And you can easily copy that one here by just going to edit, copy monitor strings and paste it in here. And then you can just copy the name in here. So, well, that's it basically. We save the file. And once I double click on this file, I'm again switching over to my other computer. And by that you can just create a batch file and then switch to a different input source by that. On the other computer, I would create a different batch file that I can easily switch back to the value, the current value here, 17, which means my HDMI port. And well, that's it. Goodbye.